The FNAF movie is finally out, man. After about 10 years, man. Actually, how many years have we been waiting? Okay, then. A FNAF movie announced here. Uh, Final Fantasy Freddy's was released simultaneously October 27, 2013. No, this is a fake one. Where is it? Here, originally announced. 2015. Well, so how many years has that been? Eight years, what? That's crazy! Wow, man! So yeah, it's finally out! After eight goddamn years, man! So hey, let me talk about it, you know, this is my FNAF movie review. So, hey, where should I start? First off, man, oh yeah, um, spoilers, a, a lot of spoilers in this video. I'm, I'm, I'm just letting y'all know. But yeah, as I was saying, um, what was I? Yeah, yeah. It, uh, the movie was... Okay, like, uh, here's the thing, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't good. It wasn't bad. You know what I'm saying? But it was awesome. You know why? Because here's the thing, you know what I'm saying? The movie itself was like a... You know what I'm saying? Solid 8 out of 10, 10. You know what I'm saying? But because the movie is the FNAF movie, you know what I'm saying? It automatically became... A 10 out of 10, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like she's a 1, but she's a FNAF fan. She's a 10 in that case. Like, come on, man. You already know that. Because she's a FNAF fan, you know what I'm saying? And th this movie wasn't a 10, but it, it is the FNAF movie, so it's automatically a 10. So, now, um, let me talk about the things that I liked. First off, man, I like the fact that the FNAF movie actually released, you know what I'm saying? Because we have been waiting for... Eight goddamn years, years, and the movie has finally released, man. So yeah, that's one thing that I like. Another thing that I like though is that the actors were actually good. You know what I'm saying? They weren't. You know what I'm saying? Bad. They were actually good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm talking to you, Abby. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, I I really like the the family. You know what I'm saying? We had Mike, Abby. And his aunt that tried to steal the child protective money or something like that. And they actually took it a step further by by having the greedy auntie. But because if if the main character was just Mike and and living with his little sister Abby and they are both broke, sure, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it will be good. But you know what I'm saying? It would not be that interesting, you know? But since we've got the greedy aunt then, like, it adds depth to the family. And I also actually like the fact that they were broke, you know what I'm saying? Because, as I said before, you know what I'm saying? It, it added depth to the story, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be funny if... Uh, if Mike was a rich man, but still being the security guard. It, it wouldn't be that interesting. Because it wouldn't actually feel like he has a need to be the security guard. You, you can tell that he's broke when he says, I don't want to work the night shift, but still works the night shift. Now then, let, let me move on to the things that I did not like. There were only like three things that, 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 that was bothering me. First off, the death of Garrett was pretty, you know what I'm saying, low effort. It's like they didn't put lots of thought on it at all, you know what I'm saying? They they just thought of something easy that, that, that anyone could think of. Garrett died by getting kidnapped in a car and you can see him in the back seat waving, screaming, Mike, come save me! Like, you, you know what I'm saying? It, it would be cool if they said like, oh yeah, Garrett went missing at his friend's birthday party with four other people. That would be interesting, man. Oh yeah, speaking of which, they never revealed who Garrett was, you know what I'm saying? I, I made this theory but with my friend that Garrett was going to be Golden Freddy and it, it would all be... And there would be a major plot twist at the end, m making Garrett Golden Freddy. But Golden Freddy never had any screen time, man. But anyways, uh, th th that was one thing I didn't like. Another third thing that I didn't like is there was another thing that I didn't like, but I actually forgot what it was though. Let me think, man. Okay, while editing this, I want to say that I, re I remember what it was now. Basically, it was the death of 
purple guy or William Afton or a spring tramp in the movie. So what they did is that they like they made how a purple guy died in the movie was that Abby removed the drawing that made all animatronics worship spring tramp and replaced them with all animatronics hating spring tramp. So uh, because of that, now now that they hate spring tramp, they wanted to kill him. So. Oh yeah, and the animatronics didn't kill him. The spring lock failure happened. Which, hey, one, one thing about the spring lock failure, I must say, is that it was cool how they animated the spring lock failure. Like, they showed the engineering process of how spring lock failures happen, if you understand what I'm trying to say. But now, let me show you how I wanted this to happen, like they did in the FNAF 3 Purple Guy Deaths minigame. So... L let's skip forward. Okay, here. So basically, yeah, I mean, this is what I wanted. The ghosts of the five animatronics chasing purple guy around and around. So he would eventually run into his spring trap suit. And the spring lock failure would eventually happen, leading him to his death. One thing I also wanted to happen was more blood that... His death was his. His death should have been more graphic. I I wanted there to be blood all over the floor, like there was, like like Scott Coffin did in this mini game. But hey, it makes sense because you know there there were small cuts watching and stuff like that. Let me ask this question though, <coughs> that I was wondering, is the movie canon? You know what I'm saying? Because I would prefer if it wasn't canon, because if the movie was actually canon. It would create lots of questions, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if the movie was canon, does that mean that Vanessa and Michael are siblings? Because like, if it is that way that Michael and Vanessa are siblings, that will create more questions than answers. Because it, uh, it'll be like, so is Vanessa... Uh, what was she called again? Hold up. I forgot. Wait, wait, wait a minute, man. FNAF Circus, baby. Real name. Elizabeth. Yeah. So does that mean that uh, Vanessa is El Elizabeth? In that case, who was Hercus, baby? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. But hey, my best guess, though, is that, is like the books are, they are telling stories that do not directly re relate to the FNAF video game lore. But still relate to the FNAF video game lore if you understand what I am trying to say. So let me get to my big theory of of, of, of all this. So why did I die close? Never mind. Okay, wait a minute. I accidentally closed Roblox. That's kind of goofy, but yeah, I mean. Okay, as I was saying, let me get to my big theory of this all. So the drawings, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that Abby drew and stuff like that. So, she drew a lot of things. Matter of fact, not the drawings that Abby drew, but the 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 drawings that were in the last uh, that that were in the pizzeria. Matter of fact, the drawings that were in the pizzeria and the drawings that Abby drew. You know what I'm saying? And now, take a look at this drawing room and FNAF security. Wait, where is it? I could have sworn I was a hole up room with lots of paintings, maybe, and security breach. Bruh. What? Never mind. Oh, actually, never mind and never mind. So, as I was saying, man, um, not these st sticky notes with the 0101 letters on them, numbers on them, what am I saying? I mean, sticky note. I mean, these sticky notes. They are also drawings, you know what I'm saying? Could it be that, as in the movie, where the drawings, you know what I'm saying, like manipulate the animatronics, could it be that, that, that these drawings also manipulate the animatronics? That's just something that I thought about, though. I don't really know. But as I said before, don't take it seriously. Because that's just my theory. I'm not the biggest FNAF de detective, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, don't don't take it seriously. So now let me talk about the cameos. Matt Pat's cameo was 
the the surprising one because when he entered, well, I mean, when when the, the greedy aunt and her lawyers were in the, I don't know what that was, the McDonald's, the restaurant or whatever. <laughs> the waiter was approaching, and he was talking his goofy voice, and I was like, "Wait, why is he talking like that, man? Why, why is he talking like this?" Okay, so what do you guys want for for breakfast? Do you want lunch or wait? Do you what am I even saying now? Wait, wait. Okay, hold up, I gotta restart. Okay, wait a minute. What do you guys want? Do you guys want pancakes or waffles? I was like, what? Why is he talking like that? And then turned it, it turned out to be Madpath. And I was like, what? That is Madpath's voice. So yeah, that one was actually quite funny. And the Cory Kenshin one, of course. Why do I always got the weirdos? Of course, mind you, can't f forget about that one. Where to? Why do I always get the weirdos? But yeah, I mean, that, that was my FNAF movie, you know what I'm saying? Um, but what, wait, what am I saying? That was my FNAF movie review, you know what I'm saying? Part 2 coming out later, I will be, I, I will be recording FNAF games in Roblox. Bye!